if there's one bandwagon that every hiker needs to get on in 2023, it's wearing a sun hoodie. I think it adds a lot of style and a lot of practicality. And in this video, I wanna show you three different sun hoodies that I've been using from all budgets, from a couple of different brands around the world to show you some of the best on the market and a couple of features that I think are really important to look out for if you're getting your first sun hoodie. Italy. <laughs> We're going to start on the lower end of the budget with the most basic one, with this one from Amazon Basics. So this is it, it's very basic. I have a couple of different colors of these. I like this gray one and I've also got like a mid kind of blue. Whilst they do get a little bit sweaty and I think they're a little bit thick and they don't wick as well as some of the other fabrics, it's a really good starting point and something you can get just like in a couple of days because it's on Amazon, right? So let's put it on and have a look. So this is the Amazon Basics ones, the cheaper end of the market, obviously, but it has, you know, everything you pretty much need. I like that it has really long sleeves. So these sleeves actually cover like my knuckles and you've got a thumb loop there, which is quite nice. So the composition of this is 88% polyester and 12% elastine. And that doesn't really make for the nicest skin feel, like it's comfortable, I can wear it, I'm quite happy wearing it, but it feels like it's just kind of sticking to my skin a little bit. And as it rubs over the skin, it kind of grips the skin, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of the main drawback of this particular garment. Like it doesn't feel as good as the other ones for sure. But if you can put up with that, I think it'll be absolutely fine. For 30 bucks, it does the job. The other thing is I'm not entirely sure of the UV properties of this and how strong it is. All of the other garments have 50 plus UV protection. With this one, I can't find any information from Amazon on whether this has a UV protection. And I think realistically, that's probably something you do want in a sun hoodie that you're wearing out in the full sun every day. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to say about it. It's a very basic kind of setup. It's a nice roomy hood, helmet approved. It's got the thumb loops, 30 bucks, Amazon, it's worth a crack. Okay, the next one we have is from Rab. This is called the Force Hoodie. This is made from a fabric they call Motive, which is 100% polyester. Seems just to me like a fancy name for polyester. So this is a slimmer fit than the Amazon Basics one. It still has plenty of room through the back, like there's lots of room to move in it, but it's a little bit more of a slimmer fit than the Amazon Basics one. This is a lot more comfortable than the Amazon Basics one on the next to skin level. It just feels like it's softer and it feels like it slides and glides over the skin a lot more, which is something you want when you're wearing something as a next to skin base layer. Now, when you're looking at this, it's hard to see much difference between the Amazon Basics one and this Rab version. Obviously, we've got some Rab branding and the collar is a little bit different. It's quite high. You'll see that this kind of sits under, just like under my beard, whereas the Amazon Basics one was more like a, more like a V-neck kind of setup where it overlaps. This one almost has like a built-in collar. And if you were concerned about getting sunburn on your neck, I never have been personally, but if you were, I guess that could be handy. So that's one thing to keep in mind if, you, if you're not really into having like <laughs> a necktie kind of setup, then you might not want to get this one. But I think the cuts and the seams are a little bit more intelligently done on this one. For example, the seams don't go over the shoulders, so it won't irritate you on your backpack. That's a smart thing. And the seams within the fabric of this feel a lot nicer on the skin as well. So it's got that offset tapered seam that runs down the side. One nicer feature of the Rab Force hoodie is these really low profile, flat lock, low bulk seams, which make things a little bit more comfortable than the Amazon Basics model. Now for a while, I thought the Rab Force didn't have thumb loops, but it actually does. They're just really hidden. Cool feature, but I'm not really a fan. It's not as comfortable as your standard kind of thumb loop setup where it's split through here. And the hood's relatively small. Like, I'm not sure you'd be able to get a helmet under that. Actually, let's try it. I mean, it's, it's probably a little bit tight. I'm not sure if it's designed to be helmet compatible, but it definitely gets over it. The main thing here that you're paying for, as these products get more expensive, 
they're going to be lighter, they're going to be more breathable. So this Rab is definitely more breathable than the Amazon Basics one. When I was wearing the Amazon Basics one, I found that I was getting very warm. It definitely didn't breathe as well. So I would actually just jump in the lakes and the streams to cool down when I was wearing that on that trip that I wore it in Germany. Also doesn't dry too fast. So if you are counting on swimming in this and jumping in lakes and washing it, it's not gonna dry as fast as this wrap. So, so far we've got the wrap versus the Amazon Basics. I mean, for twice the price, I would probably just stick to the Amazon Basics if the choice was between these two. So that's the wrap Force hoodie. Price-wise, you're looking at about 60 euros or thereabouts. But I've got links in the description if you wanna check out exactly what the price would be if you want to get shipped to the US. But if you are in the US, you might want to hang out into the next one, which is my favorite of these three sun hoodies. This one is from Black Diamonds, the Alpen Glow, and is by far my favorite so far. This has a whole nother level of lightness, breathability, and comfort. First thing I notice is the hood sits on top of my head properly, and it doesn't like flop around because of the way that it's cut, it just sits on my head really well. I also like that it has a zip. Now, obviously that's gonna add a little bit of extra weight, but that's a feature that I really enjoy because when it is very hot, I can really open it up and I can get a little bit of air in there. We've got legitimate thumb loops, like thumb loops that actually work, thumb loops that are actually comfortable. I love the color, although it does tend to get pretty dirty after I'm through hiking for a few days. It starts to look a little bit dank. <laughs> so I probably should have got another color. We have a, a little pocket here that I never use. Apparently it's like a credit card or like an ID pocket. So I guess that's pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that I could put my phone in it. Um, <laughs> The whole shirt isn't really structurally sound enough to, to carry a phone. So if you're hoping to put a phone in there, don't worry about it, it's not gonna happen. So the Black Diamond Album Glow definitely has 50 plus sun protection. That's a big feature, I mean, an important feature in a sun hoodie. Now, apparently it's designed to be worn under the helmet. It's certainly comfortable enough with it under the helmet. I'm pretty sure it's actually big enough to get over the top of the helmet as well. I think I prefer that because it's you've got the choice to take it on and take it off whenever you like. It doesn't feel like it's a stretch to get it on. It's not like it's pulling the shirt upwards, so that works for me. The weight of the fabric itself is 200 GSM, although I've maybe I've got my facts wrong on that because it actually feels lighter than the Rab Force hoodie, which is like 165 GSM. It has polygene odor control treatments. But what I can say is the odor treatment on this is more effective than the odor treatment on the Rab Force. And certainly it's better than the Amazon Basics one. I like the underarm breathable gussets that are sewed in here. Obviously it's nice to have a thinner fabric under the arms. And I think that's a nice little feature that puts this sun hoodie for me, just another level up and an extra layer of comfort. And then there's also something called Black Diamond Cool In Fabric, which is a cooling technology I have no idea about. Uh, it's certainly cooler and nicer to wear than the other hoodies that I've shown earlier. So on the whole, I think the Black Diamond Alpen Glow just has a whole nother level of style. Yes, you are paying about $15 more on top of the Rab one, but I think it's absolutely worth it for the features, for the offers, and also for the style. I do love this classic black diamond approach of having really high technology, but also a lot of style as well. So for me, it's an absolute no brainer. This is the absolute pinnacle of performance and comfort and style. In terms of the features and the look and the feel, it is far beyond the other two that I've shared and certainly worth an extra 15 bucks. And if you get it on sale, you're absolutely winning. And if it's a little bit cooler, sometimes I'll put a merino base layer underneath this, but most of the time this is a next to skin base layer. And really when you put this on, when you feel it, you realize that it's made to be a next to skin base layer because it's so smooth against the skin and it's so comfortable. Sun hoodies are really just something fairly new to me. I've only started using them in the last few years. And I guess they've only been around and popularized in the last few years. So it's all something fairly new. But if you haven't gone down the route of buying and trying out a sun hoodie for whether it's hiking or climbing or mountaineering, whatever you're doing, highly recommended, especially in the warmer months because it really is a game changer in terms of keeping yourself safe from the sun, but also being comfortable and protecting your skin and allowing your skin to breathe while still being cool 
covering your skin is one of the most important things for you to do if you're out in the sun all the time and also covering your skin can actually keep you cooler if it's done with the right fabrics. So the BD Album Glow, definitely my favorite thing to wear on my top. Generally, I'm pairing that now with Black Diamond Sprint Shorts. So if you wanna see everything else that I've been using this summer in terms of my kit, I made another video a couple of weeks ago where you can see literally everything that I use on my hikes. I'll leave that video here for you to check out. But other than that, stay safe in the sun. Definitely get yourself a sun hoodie. Links are in the description. I'll see you on the summit.